Hey guys, what's up? John here from fly8mikealpha.com. Welcome back to Two Minute Tuesday, live from Lake Hood Seaplane Base in Anchorage, Alaska. Let's go. So today on Two Minute Tuesday, we are going to keep it to two minutes. We are talking about the four types of flaps. Not something that you really need to know terribly as a pilot, but you definitely need to know for your written exams, especially commercial CFI. They're big on this one, right? So the four types of flaps, let's just run through them real quick. Let's throw them up on the screen here. We got plain, split, slotted, and fowler, all right? So four types. Now, what do those do for us? Plain is pretty plain Jane, right? So it's just going to be the wing and then the little back part of the wing tilts down. It swivels to give us a little bit increase in angle of attack and a little bit increase in that cord line, right? So we get a little bit extra lift, but a whole lot of extra drag with this one. Next we have split, all right? So split, you'll find this in like a DA-42. A lot of old World War II airplanes have split flaps as well. So the split flap, a little bit more lift, Definitely a lot of drag, not the most efficient thing if you're trying to build an airplane that gets a lot of extra lift without an increase in drag. But, you know, flaps also, part of their purpose is increase in drag. We need that drag to maybe keep a higher engine RPM or to increase our descent rate to make a steeper approach. So it could be helpful depending on the design of the airplane. Next up, we have our slotted flap, right? So the slotted flap is very similar to a plane flap. It's just going to have a little slot that opens when that flap deploys, and the purpose behind that is to accelerate some airflow through that slot to make the air stick better to the backside of the flap, which increases lift a little bit. So it helps that boundary layer of air stick to the back of the flap, so we actually get a little bit extra lift with the extra drag we get when we are deploying that flap. Now, lastly, we have our Fowler flap, which is nothing more than a slotted flap, that same exact thing, right? A slot when the flap deploys, but this flap also travels backwards. This is very common on airliners. It's effectively making the wing a lot bigger. This is what you have on your Cessnas, right? Everyone's familiar with a Cessna 172. That is a Fowler type flap. The flap moves back on the track, plus it moves down so you have that slot. And the overall wing is bigger, right? So the wing from the leading edge to the trailing edge becomes larger, increasing your wing surface area. It is a lot of extra lift for the a little bit amount of drag that is produced. Now, of course, at higher flap settings, 30, 40 degrees, that's a lot of drag, of course. There's always gonna be drag and you can't have more lift without having more drag. There's no free lunch ever, right? But this is a very efficient design if you're trying to make an airplane fly a lot slower, like an airliner, right? Something that flies very fast through the air and then has to get very slow to make a safe landing. So there are your four types. Just remember them for the test, right? You've got your plane, your split, your slotted, your Fowler flaps. Those will help you on your commercial and your CFI writtens. Any questions? Leave it in the comments below. Be sure to check out flatmikehealth.com. All the amazing courses we have on there, not just private pilot, instrument pilot and commercial pilot ground schools, boot camps to help you with your check ride prep. In addition to that, we have written prep, we have seaplane, we have tailwheel, we have all sorts of other awesome courses on there, crosswind landings, Everything you can imagine is on there. If it's not on there and you're looking for it, email us. Maybe we're working on it. Maybe it'll be up there soon. So any questions, leave them in the comments below. Visit flightmikealf.com. You can ask your question there, clicking at the top of the page where it says, ask a question. And as always, guys, if you cannot fly every day, then just flightmikealf.com. We'll see you guys in the next one.